Whenever we turn the key, this fuel pump is way louder than the OEM. Yeah, way louder. I'm sure you guys could probably hear that. But either way, let's get this cold start. Yo, what's going on guys? Handy Croy here with another one for you. This week we did a pretty darn big mod. We are getting this thing ready to make some serious power. But before we get into what we did, let me go on ahead and say thank you guys for tuning in. If you're a returning viewer, thank you. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you even more. If you're a new viewer, I really hope that you guys enjoy my channel. We make Mark 7 GTI content. Right now we're in the process of just making this thing go as fast as we can. We've already uh, kind of covered most of the aesthetic mods, so if you're interested in any of that, Go ahead and check out the other videos on the channel, but let me stop rambling and let's get into this video. So what did we do to this GTI to get this thing ready for more power? Well, if you guys have been paying attention in our recent videos, we got ourselves a low pressure fuel pump for this car and we went on ahead and installed it. Now I will go on ahead and tell you, we did not do a super in-depth install, which I am very happy to do so. I will say I ordered my low pressure fuel pump through EQT and I don't know if it was just a mishap or if this is common, but there was no instructions. I also checked on their website. I couldn't find any instructions for it. I may have been looking in the wrong place, but nonetheless, no instructions on how to do the slow pressure fuel pump. There was plenty of YouTube videos out there done on golf hours and stuff, but as you guys know, the GTI is a little bit different. So it was a little bit of a guessing game, but we figured, you know what? If we get it wrong, it's not gonna turn on. So we'll know we did something wrong, but lucky for us, it did crank right up. We did it the install correctly. I will show you guys a few little clips of that right now. It's a real stop. So as you guys can see, I didn't go super in depth. I did cover a little bit of it here and there. It's honestly a plug and play system. I was expecting to have to repin some connectors and stuff like that, like you used to have to do in the past, but EQT has made it very easy for us. Literally plug and play. I'm pretty sure that anyone could do it without instructions, but if you guys do want a more instructional detailed video on how to do this for the front wheel drive platform in particular, let me know and I will go back and I will make you guys a little instructional video for that. Now let's talk about why we did the slow pressure fuel pump. So really there was multiple reasons why I did the slow pressure fuel pump, but the number one thing was that my factory one just wasn't quite strong enough. And I know that it's kind of a luck of the draw thing whenever it comes to going hybrid turbo with just a high pressure fuel pump on whether or not your low pressure fuel pump will be able to support it. Sadly, I uh, got the short end of that one, or short end of that stick, so we had to upgrade ours and we just decided to go with the brushless RS3 pump because it is the easiest. You don't have to modify your basket or anything like that. You just drop it right in, it comes with its own controller and everything like that, and just really kind of simplifies the whole process for you. So now that we have that low pressure fuel pump installed, I really am considering just pulling out that high pressure fuel pump and posting it up for sale and just going ahead and just do a full MPI setup because really it would open up the door so much more and I'm already so close to it, you know, I uh, would just have to really switch out one thing and then we could be there. So that is definitely something that I am considering, but in the meantime, we're just going to utilize this low pressure fuel pump that's feeding my high pressure fuel pump now and we're turning up the boot. Now we've also done a little bit of cosmetic mod to the car, so we're going to go on back up to the car and I'm going to show you guys what exactly we did. Now if you're one of my subscribers, you better always look back at your car. So as you guys can see right here on the front, it doesn't look very much different at all, but what we did is we actually used some gloss black vinyl and we wrapped our headlights. So originally we were just trying to cover up those amber signals on the side, 
but we were not a fan of the way it looked with just it covered on the side so we went on ahead and did the full eyebrow and everything all in one piece this was my very first time laying vinyl or using knifeless tape so it's not 100 percent perfect but it honestly came out really good let me go in and give you guys a little close-up of it you guys can see what that looks like i think it came out good overall i will probably redo it again in the future and we did it on both sides right there honestly wasn't that hard if you guys have never used like knifeless tape it is uh kind of awesome honestly it makes working with vinyl relatively easy we also went in ahead and wrapped the front rim of this lip so we had already taken a couple rock chips to it and uh, they were just catching my eye way too much so we went in ahead and just used some gloss black vinyl and just covered up the front of this lip and honestly you wouldn't even notice it unless I told you, but it does look really good and it serves its purpose. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me first off say thank you guys for making it all the way here till the end. I ought to reward you guys with something. I really don't have anything quite yet, but I will say we are actually planning on doing a little giveaway here in the future. So you guys should uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure that you guys keep on tuning in. I'm not exactly sure when we will be announcing that, but we plan on doing a little something here soon. But nonetheless, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, and I'll catch you next week.